what is this mess I got here? Well, I plan on building my own hovercraft and um, based on Arduino. And uh, I thought about, I've been exploring the pros and cons of using a uh, speed controller hardware versus uh, software. Um, now I've tried some example code on the internet um, and the motor tries to spin and even though the code is very eloquent uses interrupts and such um, I wrote my own code code and uh, made my own schematic I got this one's running at about 1700 rpm looks slower but it's just a camera effect I'm using uh, three overly sized MOSFETs because I later plan on uh, pushing four motors with this that's why the uh, diodes are so big rated at 5 amp the FETs rated at 5 amp using BUZ 11 in channel MOSFETs um, I've already fried one potentiometer so yeah they do put out some power I tried using my um, homemade power supply and a 9 volt battery which drained very quickly and, uh, that power supply wasn't made for much over 300 milliamp so I just got an old power supply set up here I've got it connected into 5 volt um, here's my ground rail um, I'm using the uh, collector as positive so the 5 volts comes into the collector and is uh, pulsed every 2 milliseconds off pins 5, 6, and 7 ground of the Arduino is tied into system ground and I had a 1k pot but something got short circuited so this thing is no longer in service and that would just uh, it was just a current limiter to the motor um, but I noticed under a certain amount of current I didn't want to get spinning um, now I did notice that the uh, the logic outputs are not uh, driving um, they're not driving the gate to its full potential uh, I'm only getting about a volt on the gate um, I could get more speed and more uh, torque out of this and better timing um, what I could do is, in fact, it's in the schematic. I'll do this right here. Just use some in-channel, um, just regular um, 2N3904 um, in-channel um, transistors. Um, tied to 5 volt. And you can boost your drive so that the logic will uh, on the base of uh, Q1, 2, and 3 usually uh, basically um, use that to boost your drive to the gates of the MOSFETs and then put a trim or a current limiter um, 220 ohm should do it uh, but if you want to be able to adjust it uh, you can put a pot but be careful um, with potentiometers um, you need a very reliable uh, resistance value if, if you're going to do that. So I would go with, if you find something that works, I would go with fixed resistors. Because if you're off on uh, these three resistors right here, it's going to screw up your current and your timing. Um, and it'll eventually come to a sputter. Uh, but right now, um, can't put a lot of load on it before it stalls. That's why I want to get the drive up. Um, 
but once I get my other code in there, if it turns out that I'm missing pulses, I'll just go with a hardware speed controller for my four props. Um, I haven't tried hooking four motors up yet, but I'm sure that those FETs will run it no problem, especially off a of good power supply. I do plan on building a 5 amp capable power supply soon. Uh, this has been running for about 10 minutes and these are ice cold and so are the diodes, the protection diodes. I'll see how much of a load it takes to get it to stop. I'm putting a pretty good bit of pressure on it. Okay, stall. Another thing I need is a bigger breadboard, which I have already ordered. I've got, there's my rotary encoder project still sitting on the shield. This is the only other breadboard I got, so yeah, I need to get a bigger one. I'm going to set the camera down one second. Well, I'll spin this back up. Oh well. Oh, when the breadboard fell, I lost a line to somewhere, so back to the drawing board. But anyway, it works. I'll put the code in the schematic up as usual.